What if I told you that the secret to transforming your garden soil from mediocre to magnificent isn't hiding in an expensive bag at the garden center, but sitting right there in your kitchen pantry? Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating comparison that has gardeners buzzing with excitement. Cornmeal versus crushed rice as soil amendments. Both of these humble kitchen staples possess surprising powers to revolutionize your soil's biology and fertility, but they work in distinctly different ways. By the end of this guide you'll understand exactly how each one functions, when to use them, and which might be the perfect fit for your garden's unique needs. Let's start with cornmeal, a golden powerhouse that does far more than make delicious cornbread. When you incorporate cornmeal into your garden soil, you're essentially laying out a feast for the microscopic workforce that makes healthy soil function. Cornmeal is predominantly composed of carbohydrates and proteins, with a carbon to nitrogen ratio that hovers around 20 to 1. This particular ratio makes it an ideal food source for beneficial bacteria and fungi, especially the organisms that help break down organic matter and make nutrients available to plants. Think of cornmeal as a slow-release energy source that keeps your soil's biological engine running smoothly for weeks after application. The real magic of cornmeal lies in its ability to stimulate specific beneficial fungi, particularly trichoderma species. These remarkable fungi are nature's own biological control agents, actively suppressing harmful pathogens like root rot fungi and damping off diseases that plague seedlings. When cornmeal is added to soil, it creates conditions that favor trichoderma growth over pathogenic fungi, essentially tilting the biological balance in your garden's favor. Studies have shown that cornmeal applications can significantly reduce fungal disease pressure in vegetable gardens, ornamental beds, and even lawns. Gardeners report fewer instances of wilting, root diseases, and the mysterious plant deaths that often plague gardens with poor soil biology. Beyond disease suppression, cornmeal enriches soil structure in ways that become more apparent with repeated applications. Now let's turn our attention to crushed rice, an amendment that deserves far more recognition than it currently receives in gardening circles. Rice, whether it's white, brown, or broken rice that's too damaged for culinary use, brings a different set of benefits to your soil ecosystem. With a higher carbon to nitrogen ratio than cornmeal, typically around 40 to 60 to 1 for white rice, crushed rice acts more as a carbon source that fuels long-term soil building rather than providing quick nutrition. This higher carbon content makes it particularly valuable for improving soil structure and supporting the growth of fungal networks that are essential for healthy, resilient gardens. What makes crushed rice especially interesting is its micronutrient profile and how it interacts with soil chemistry. Rice contains notable amounts of silicon, manganese, phosphorus, and B vitamins that become available as it decomposes. Understanding how these amendments work is one thing, but knowing how to apply them effectively is what separates good results from spectacular ones. For cornmeal applications, the general recommendation is to use about one pound per hundred square feet of garden bed, or, you know, roughly two cups per ten square feet for smaller areas. Crushed rice requires a slightly different approach because of its higher carbon ratio and slower decomposition rate. Apply crushed rice at a rate of about one to two pounds per hundred square feet, mixing it thoroughly into the top four to six inches of soil. One critical consideration with both amendments is avoiding overuse, which can create temporary nutrient imbalances or tie up nitrogen as microbes work to break down the organic matter. Start with the lower end of recommended application rates and observe how your plants and soil respond. So which amendment wins the super soil showdown? The truth is, they both win, but for different reasons and in different situations. Cornmeal is your go-to choice when you're dealing with disease pressure, preparing beds for intensive vegetable production, or want relatively quick improvements in soil biology and nutrient availability. Here's the real secret that experienced gardeners have discovered. You don't have to choose between them, using both amendments in a thoughtful rotation or combination gives you the best of both worlds. Start experimenting with these kitchen pantry powerhouses in your garden this season, and I promise you'll be amazed at the transformation you witness. Begin with a small test area if you're cautious, or dive in across your whole garden if you're ready to see dramatic results. Either way, 
document your journey with photos and notes so you can track the improvements over time. If you found this comparison valuable and want to learn more soil building secrets that really work, make sure to subscribe to The Living Soil Lab. We're constantly exploring natural methods that help you grow the garden of your dreams without breaking the bank or relying on synthetic inputs. Share this guide with your fellow gardeners who are ready to unlock their soil's true potential, and let's build a community of growers who understand that the foundation of every great garden is living, thriving soil. Happy gardening, and here's to super soil that produces super results.